Well, because of the encouragement of a couple of buddies, I decided to try something that I hadn't done before. And uh, so what I did is I put together a vlog of one of our first uh, fishing adventures into the Black Hills for uh, this ice fishing season. So maybe it sucks, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. If you like it, do me a favor and hit the like button and let me know. And if you don't like it, uh, probably don't let me know because I don't want my feelings to get hurt. But, um, anyway, first ice fishing adventure into the Black Hills for the 2022-23 season. I hope you like it. And here we go. Season's here. Well, it's the uh, Saturday before Thanksgiving and we've got fishable ice in the Black Hills. Not a lot, but we've probably got more than we're aware of. So today the plan is to do a little bit of lake hopping and bounce around and see what we can find and try to set the hook a few times. Uh, it's been really cold here. Uh, yesterday morning we actually set a record low, but uh, the next week or so looks like more seasonable temperatures and not real great for making ice. So we're gonna go get it while we uh, go get it while we can. All right, well, we're at the first spot. Picked up my buddy Tanner, Kickland, and uh, we're here, so we're, um, there's already people out on the ice, so we're gonna take the spud bar and the K drill and go out and drill a few holes and see what it looks like. And uh, I think this first spot might try to get on some, some crappie or some bluegill, so we'll see what happens, but we're here. Yeah, five and a half inches, six inches of consistent ice all the way across. So I think we found our spot. Good all right, let's unload and get after it. All right, well, we got a whole mess of holes drilled. Tanner's behind me there setting up with some tip ups, and I'm here and we've got fish. So let's see what we can do. Tanner. Nope. First drop. Shot way up to take it. All right, we'll let that one go. Nice bluegill. How about that? There we go. <clears throat> two swings, two misses. There we go. Woo. Look at that, bud. I will take a good old fashioned hot pan fish bite. Oh, here we go. This one's coming in hot. 
man, when they commit, they commit. Crappie. Nine and a half. Crappie. Yeah. A little bit smaller one. Right on. Well, we found them anyway. Yeah. All right, well, a little update. We got into a pretty good panfish bite. We uh, we found the crappie all in that nine, nine and a half range. We got 110. Uh, we got some pretty nice bluegill and a couple of small perch, but we're going to see if we can move around and find the bigger fish. and. I think we're going to throw some more tip-ups out and see if we can't bump into something with teeth. Spinning. Another flag. It's not spinning though. Nope. Bummer. All right, well, it's one o'clock. Had ourselves a pretty good morning. Um, a bunch of crappie, nine, nine and a half inch. We had one 10 inch. Uh, handful of pretty nice bluegills and then a bunch of just teeny tiny perch. So had a couple of flags and uh, nothing stuck there. So Tanner's just getting the Arctic Warriors pulled up. So what do you think, bud? What's the plan? Move on, see where some more good ice is, see what we can come up with. Yeah, I think we're going to bounce around the corner, check a couple spots on this lake. We might drop a line, but ultimately I think we're going to end up down the road at a lake that's got some pretty big trout in it. I wouldn't mind getting into a fight with one of them today, so onward. Crappie. Take a big old fat, thick bluegill any day. All right, we're on our second spot, same lake. And uh, this one worked out okay. We've caught a few fish, a lot of smaller stuff. The bite's a little bit different. Ice is decent right here, but over my shoulder, you can see there's open water out there. So we'll give this one a little bit and then we'll move. We're, uh, we're on the crappie again, but we can't get anything over about nine inches. So I think we're gonna pack it up and see if we can't go find some trout down the road.
Yep, four and a half, five. How deep it is. <coughs> Six, seven feet. Oh. Yeah, we can throw a couple holes in here and see see what pops up and then move around a little bit, I guess. Yeah. All right. All right, we're on the second lake. Uh, we got four to five and a half inches of ice, depending. So a little more of a crowd here. And there's a lot, a lot of holes been punched. So we'll check this out and see what it's all about. Oh, what do you got there? That's a good perch. Oh, yes, sir, it is. Look at that. Second spot's working out all right, eh? Yep. Second lake. There we go, that's what I was after. Yeah, I didn't get a good hook set. You have to be super, super talented to catch fish that small. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice, dude. That's what we want right there. Very nice. I'll yeah, grab a picture. Heck yeah, man. That's what we're here for. That is exactly what we're here for. All right. A little bit of a bit of a forehead to him. Nice. Out of way. <laughs> all right. I guess we're in the right spot after yeah. all, huh? There we go. Yeah. Mr. Trout. Yeah. There we go. There. I need to find these guys when I'm back up here on Tuesday with... All right, well, that's a wrap. Uh, ice fishing season is definitely here. We had a good day today. Every species we targeted, we caught, with the exception of pike, but I don't think we tried real hard on those. So uh, it got dark in a hurry, and once it got dark, the bite shut off. So thanks for tagging along, and now we got to plan the next trip. <laughs>